Okay, welcome to the workshop on prioritising yourself. So these workshops are all about working together to find the balance in our lives and giving us some time just to stop and reflect and focusing on us. So you need a uh, paper, you need a few different coloured pens if you wish and just about 15 to 20 minutes of your time to just stop and reflect. So first of all, uh, people who I work with quite often do the circle session. So think of three key areas in your life. So these will be different from person to person. For example, you might have three areas. One might be work, one might be home, one might be family, one might be friends. Um, it might include your fitness, it might include me, not me, but it might include you. <laughs> um, um, the, everyone's going to have three different areas. So just think in your head of three different areas. And then you're going to transfer these into circles. So I've said on this PowerPoint, the size it currently takes up in your life, but some people will have this uh, as time, as emotion. So for example, the person who's working a lot, really long hours, they might have a work circle that's really quite big. You might have a W in the middle of it. And then they might have their next circle, for example, might be family, a little F in the middle, a bit smaller. And then maybe they've got a tiny little pinprick of a circle that's got M for me. That is one example. Or someone who's got more balanced might have um, family, might be bigger, and then it might be fitness, and then it might be the home. Just have a think about the circles and where, where it is. And now you've got your circles. If you haven't got your circles, pause this and get your circles done. <laughs> but now you've got, got your circles in different sizes. Nothing is right, nothing is wrong. Does it look like a happy balance? Are you happy with your circles? If you're happy with your circles where they are, you keep them where you are. And then if you think, okay, my circles need a little bit of a tweaking, draw the circles to your desired balance. Now, it might be you have different key areas in the next lot of circles. So your first lot of circles, three lot, might be different to your second lot of circles. So it might be what you want it to be. So going back to my first example, someone who's working a lot with a big work, smaller family, tiny little pinprick of me, they might think, actually, what I want this to be, I want me to be my bigger circle. And I want my family, or maybe my home, or maybe fun um, to be there. And maybe fitness is coming in there, fitness and well-being. Um, maybe it's time with friends, maybe it's socialization. Have a think about your life, where it is at the moment, just a nice stopgap and where you want it to be. So you should have two sets of three circles, where you are now, one, two, three, and where you want to be. Now your circles to decide balance, you want to give yourself a tame time frame and just jot a little time frame. Is it in six months? Is it three months? Um, probably not tomorrow. There's something else that we'll do from tomorrow, but the circles do take time to change. Um, and it's trying to get that happy balance. So if you need to spend a bit more time, just pause this video now and spend some more time on it, or we move on. Okay, so the ladder. So this is all about prioritizing you. So you've had your circles, you've thought about the three key areas in your life, what's taking up, and maybe you couldn't do three circles, maybe it was, you just wanted two, you know, maybe it was a bit hard. So we, to make any change in our lifestyle, even if we're happy with our lifestyle now, we still wanna think about where we're at. So to make changes to achieve a desired balance, we need to think about our priorities. So this is our priority ladder. So think of a ladder and the different runs. Um, draw yourself a ladder and you're going to jot down what you feel your priority should be from tomorrow to achieve your desired balance. So desired three key areas. So what would you have? So at the top of your ladder, what is the most important thing that should be a priority? What is the second most important thing? And then the third. And see how many rungs you've put on your ladder. Maybe you've got seven maybe more see if you can fill up see if you can get at least seven priorities and i want you to make sure that you yourself are on there so you should be up near the top of that ladder think where you are on that ladder at the moment and you want to try and make yourself at the top uh it's up to you what your other priorities are um 
you want to think about your fitness, your well-being, um, your mental well-being, your nutritional well-being. Have it up there as well. It should be up there and there so you're focusing on you to create change. And then add in everything else that is round in your bubble on there. And it's just having a chance to think and rebalance. So this is, again, another activity I do again and again with my clients for them to reflect and think, where do I need to go next? So you can either step, spend a bit longer in this slide or move on with me. OK, so uh, this is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You've more than likely probably heard of this before. Um, we all have uh, basic needs which need to be met, uh, psychological needs which need to be met, and then we've got our self-fulfillment needs, the self-actualization. -actual so uh, these needs, lower down, need to be satisfied before we can look after ourselves to the needs higher up. So if we're still looking at our basic needs and our psychological needs, really looking at our circles, and a, a ladders, we can do that now, but we probably need to come back to thinking about our psychological needs as well. So our personal growth um, doesn't necessarily come from a lack of something, but it needs to be a desire to grow as a person, which is what this is all about, your circles and your ladder, is that desire to grow as a person, that desire to want the best that you can possibly have and not settle. And this uh, diagram here just comes back to the fact of our basic needs, psychological needs, what we need, and then the self-fulfillment. So this is striving for what you want for your life. So if you want some more time on this slide, pause now, <clears throat> or carry on with me. Okay, so this um, links to our hierarchy of needs. And um, this is a great um, quote here from... Maslow, so in any given moment, we have two options, to step forward into growth or to step back into safety. This comes back to your circles and your ladder. So you can choose for your circles to change. You can choose for your ladders to change the priorities or you'll step back into safety. So just reflect now, maybe have a doodle on your sheet. So what is your option of safety? What is your safe option to stay in? What would you be doing to be safe and staying there? And then what is your optional growth? Have a little think. So perhaps have a little mind map of safety, a little mind map of growth. What is it gonna look like? How is it gonna change your life? How is it gonna help you fulfill your potential, be more creative, and uh, feel you're living your life? So just pause this slide and just spend a little bit of time thinking about what your option of safety is and what your option of growth is. Okay, so um, moving on. Going a little bit deeper into this again, uh, I'm sure you've all done a, a SWOT analysis at some stage, I've just gone for a, a simple one here. For a SWOT analysis here, it's looking at our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. And for this, we're gonna focus on our fitness and wellbeing. We're gonna have a snapshot of where we are here. So we're gonna park our three circles and our ladder um, and our growth and our safety to one side for a minute and we're going to focus on this. So you're, in, you're carrying out this workshop because you're obviously thinking about your fitness and your well-being. So on your piece of paper you could doodle a little grid, you could just have S, W, O and T and you, we're going to think about uh, one part at a time. So we're going to start with strengths. So what is working well and what have you embedded? Think about your physical fitness, your nutrition, and your mental well-being. So first of all, think about your fitness. What is working well? What are your strengths? Are you in a routine? Are you getting in a routine? Are you enjoying the workouts? What is working well? Do you feel your body feeling stronger? So this is our inner motivation here. This is what's going to keep us going. Your nutrition, what's working well? What's going well with it? What have you embedded? And then your mental well-being. What are you doing? You're listening to this. So you're obviously trying to um, grow and support your mind as well as your body. And then we're going to go through each of these sections, just putting in some different uh, notes. 
So weaknesses, uh, think about what needs to improve in your fitness. What do you still need to work on? Um, your nutrition, again, what is it that you want to work on? Is there something you need to cut out of your diet or bring into your diet? Your emotional well-being, is there something that you need to do to put in place to help? What are the weaknesses there? What do you need to work on? And then more of those external factors, the opportunities. So your physical fitness, what opportunities can you make more, more, more of? Can you do something more of? Have you got uh, a friend that is really keen to go for walks with you? Is there a friend that's really keen to go for a run? Or, you know, do you have a treadmill you need to dust off in the house? You know, have a little think of the opportunities that you can make more, most of. Your nutrition, again, are there other opportunities? Is maybe that about meal planning or learning or maybe contacting me and just having some one-to-one -one time to talk through to meal plan? Um, and then your mental well-being as well. What are the opportunities to grow, um, to help you? Um, and then your, your threats, you know, these are external. What can stop your progress? These are your barriers. You know, think about your fitness. What could stop your progress? Your nutrition, what can stop? And your mental well-being, what is there that, that can stop, that can just put those barriers I can sabotage your efforts. What is there? And just having this little breakdown of this grid can help you start to understand where you are. And again, it helps that inner motivation. Um, think about your goal, what your goal is, and how it works with all that as well. Okay, so you might want to pause that there. Um, and uh, have a bit more, more time on that. So with all this, this is our last slide here. So return to your goal and think about your why, um, why you're thinking about your fitness nutrition. What is your goal? What are you trying to achieve? So from this, think about, go back to your three circles, where they are now and where you want them to go and how your goal is gonna fit into that. Think about your ladder, your priorities. How is your goal fitting into your ladder priorities? It should be there. And then thinking about your SWOT analysis, your strengths, your weaknesses, your internal factors, and then your opportunities and your threats. So how is your goal gonna weave into it all? Have a look at all the doodles on your bit of paper, or look back on the slides and just reflect. And then last three questions, which sums it all up, which is everything you've been doing, really is thinking, why do you want to do this? Again, thinking about that inner motivation, why? Why is it you want to do this? What will help you? So what will help you reach that goal? And what might get in my way? So you've got all these answers with those three circles. Why do you want to do this? You've got your change of lifestyle, your priority ladder, what will be, what will help you. The SWOT analysis, again, is going to come into what will help you and what might get in my way. So maybe just give another few, a few answers to these three questions and just have a bit of self-reflection on that there. That's it. So that's, that's the summed up really from this um, PowerPoint, but you might wanna go back through here um, or look if you'd like to have the slides, um, contact me and I can send you the slides. So you can just go through each slide again and have a think and uh, think about how this can impact you. Now you've watched this, uh, you might want to take a, a screenshot of your doodle sheet and send it to me so you're accountable to someone and it is part of your journey. Um, I'm more than happy to chat with people, do one-to-one -one chats on this if you'd like to discuss things further or maybe one of the activities you didn't quite understand. 
um yeah so get in contact and thank you for making the time to do this